we have the U.S. Open champion Gary Woodland right here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Gary? Great, brother. How you doing? I'm fine. Two days removed. What are you thinking about? <laughs> it's all trying to still put it in perspective. Um, you know, waking up the next morning with that trophy next to the next to the bed, realized it wasn't really a dream. It, this is real life. So it was uh, pretty special. So you, it, it really was on a night table next day? It was, right, right. next to the head. Yeah, I just want to make sure nobody took it and wanted to make sure it was real when I woke up. <laughs> and it's still, where is it right now? Where's the trophy right now? In my hands. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I got it in my lap right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> What does it look like? Describe what it looks like up close. Well, it's a it's a little dented. I haven't even had it 24 hours before I dropped it, so that that was <laughs> a good start. But um, it's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. But um, it's special. It's uh, it's something that I'll cherish obviously forever. Have you drank anything out of it? Yeah, quickly afterwards. It, it didn't take long. Um, a learning experience. I actually was drinking out of the bottom of it. I didn't know the top came off, so <laughs> I, I learned a lesson quickly. But uh, we've had some good fun with it already. What, what's what's been in there? Vodka, a lot of vodka. No kidding. S- yeah. Straight up. I mean, man, that's uh, impressive. We've, we've we've mixed some. We've thrown a little sprite in there, a little bit of water, but uh, particularly there's been vodka in there. Well, just congratulations on all uh, all of that. When did you? I mean. Uh, obviously, you've won on the tour before. Uh, did you have a sensation leading up to this tournament, playing in it, that you've felt before on on tournaments that you've won, Gary? Is there any similarities to anything that you can relate? You know, not really. Besides, this, I've played well lately, especially in major championships. I, I had I was leading through 36 last year at Bell Reeve in the PGA. Um, ended up finishing six, but I, I learned a lot so much that week. It was really the first time I've been contention in a major, playing with Tiger on Sunday. Just taking in that atmosphere, learning, you know, that I uh, forced next to me, especially early in that round. So I took a lot from that. Um, and fast forward, played solid this year at Augusta. Come to the PGA, have another top 10 there this year at the PGA. And then Pebble Beach is Pebble Beach. You know, obviously the views, the golf course speaks for itself, but it's a special place um, for me. And so I was excited to be there. I knew how my game was in good shape, and it transcended into a very special week. And what's your favorite hole in the course? You know, I mean, it's hard not to say 18. Um, I, I didn't fare well on 18 until the last the last day they were making birdie. But it's just it's such an iconic hole. You obviously, you have the, the ocean right there, but you you can risk reward. You can make three there. You can make seven there. Um, fortunately, I gave myself a, a chance um, driving the ball in the fairway a couple times. But uh, it's just such a beautiful golf hole. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, I've got a, a good Gary Woodland here on the Rich Eisen Show. Look, I'm, I'm a hacker, and it's very difficult for me to concentrate. If I, uh, you know, on Pebble, you, you, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I, I, I wouldn't. I'm just wondering. Do you, at any point, even though you're 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 locked in clearly, and it's the the biggest tournament uh, of your life that you're winning. Do you do you look around and go, wow, that specific ocean, this Pebble Beach is pretty amazing? Do you ever? I, do I think it helped me to be honest with you. The, the views, I mean, the crowds were so so big. The energy, the noise was amazing. But looking out, it, it's so peaceful, for a better word, and beautiful that it kind of just brought me back down to life real quick. And just trying to take it in. I mean, I'm, I'm a kid from Kansas. I'm as far away from the ocean as we're going to get. Um, sitting there and looking at those views, uh, that was special. That kind of let me get out get out of what was going on for a second put it back in perspective and then get back to work when i needed to well, step up and hit a shot how how often though did you peek at the leaderboard knowing that you had one of the most red hot golfers in the history of major tournaments on your heels gary and brooks kept yeah fortunately i didn't he was right in front of me so i could i could really see what was going on and the noise you could tell the roars when he was making birdies um i you know fortunately for me i got off to a good start that was that was a huge huge part in the day me making birdies early because he came in hot and you knew he was going to make a charge he's been doing it obviously now for years he just seems like he steps up to that moment he just loves it um so i knew i need to do that and i'm playing with justin rose obviously one of the top players in the world as well so i'm seeing what he's doing so it was important for me to to kind of withstand all that early in the round and i did that Gary Woodland, U.S. Open champion here on the Rich Eisen Show. And then speaking of the word beautiful, I thought it was a wonderful moment with your folks. And then obviously your dad, it's Father's Day. Is it true that your dad had a heart attack when you were earning your tour card 10 years ago at Pebble Beach? Is that a true story, Gary Woodland? It is. Yeah, he actually had a heart attack when I was playing Pebble uh, my rookie year, 2009. I mean, that, I mean, that just... 
you know, you really can't make that up for me, full circle for me to win my first major at Pebble Beach on Father's Day with my dad standing there. Um, you know, it's emotional thinking about it, but uh, it doesn't get any better than that. I, I couldn't have pictured it anymore. Yeah, I mean, there he is and giving you that hug. What, just if you don't mind, just what what was it like to see your dad right there and you did you accomplished what you accomplished? On that day, um, yeah, I mean, I, I asked him. I said, "What do you think about that?" And you know, it was just we did it. I mean, that was, it's, it's been, it's been a full ride. I, I wouldn't be where I am today without my dad. And um, to be there and share that moment with him, and you know, being a father myself now, um, you know, brings new meaning to life. And uh, it was, it was really, really special. Yeah, you have a baby, Jackson, correct? That's who. Yeah, and you've got turns two this week, which is amazing. And then I got identical twin girls on the way, so. <sighs> I need to keep making birdies. <laughs> yeah, keep just keep just one whole just one at a time, Gary. Okay, just one day at a time. Here. I love it. Stay so, the moment. Yeah, exactly. And so, and and I because I was reading up on you and your dad. Is it true that he he never let you win at golf? That this is something that never, we, never, yeah. and and anything. And it it you know he taught me at a young age that nothing's given to you. Um, you know, nothing comes for free. And so you, you have to earn everything you do and. I really feel like I've I earned that last week, and that, you know that's something I, I look forward to teaching Jax, um, you know, my son and, and my girls when they come. Is you know nothing in this world given to you. You have to earn everything you do, and that makes the process and the journey even that more special. Yeah, we because we've been talking about participation trophies a little bit today, Gary, before you joined. So <laughs> there, there there won't be any of those. There, there wasn't any of those in the Woodland household. Is what you're saying? No, there was definitely no no wall of wall of fame up there. If, if I didn't win, I didn't get out. I think my dad didn't talk to me for about two days after I beat him. I was, you know, there was no cell phones back then. I was calling my grandma and telling everybody. My dad, his his line to me every time when I was a kid was, "There's many more moons before you beat me, son." And uh, once I beat him, those those moons were there. So it was pretty special. Well, before I let you go here, Gary, I've got uh, here my my uh, my crack crew has uh, unearthed from the media guide, I believe, at Washburn University in 2002-2003. There you are, Gary Woodland, freshman guard. Nice haircut right there, number 23. Yeah, was that for high and tight. Was that for Jordan, number 23? Yeah, I mean, I grew up when Jordan was with the Bulls. You know, no, no NBA team close to us in Kansas, so the Bulls were as close as we got, so everybody was a Jordan fan. Okay, so they also down the right side have some of your favorites. They called them tippins, I guess. That's a nice, <laughs> nice phrase for a college media guide for basketball. I'd love to know if these, if some of these favorites from back in 2002, 2003 are still your favorites, if you don't mind. Uh oh. Okay. Let's hear it. Favorite food, ribs. Yes or no? Yeah, I would say steak, but ribs are definitely up there. Okay. Uh, movie. He got game. Is that still your favorite? No, I mean it's 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 you know these are all still there, but uh, you know probably Top Gun, Gladiator. Okay, Top Gun, interesting. Yeah, all Love right. It. Okay, uh, music. Garth Brooks. Is that still your yeah, favorite? Yeah, big Garth Brooks. Yeah, big Garth Brooks fan. I, I do listen to everything else, but. Big Garth fan growing up. Well, uh, top sports moment has changed. I know that from winning two state championships. <laughs> <laughs> That's that we could we could we could change that one. Um, sports team: Indianapolis Colts, professional sports yeah, team. Yeah, I was a big Peyton Manning fan. I, that's funny. I, I'm a I'm a I'm a Chiefs fan now. Patrick Mahomes has persuaded me and, and switched me over. But uh, I'm a big Chiefs fan. What do you mean? That Mahomes personally has lobbied you? Is that what you're saying? No, just his play. I mean, I'm just excited. Obviously, when Peyton retired, it was hard. Growing up in Kansas, you're always a Chiefs fan, but I was a diehard Peyton fan when he was at Tennessee. So when he went to the Colts, I became a Colts fan. When he went to Denver, it was a little harder to root for him. Being in Kansas, I didn't go over very well. So um, when he officially retired, um, my friends and family persuaded me to I, I needed to be a Chiefs fan growing up. Oh, so now I see Mahomes, the way he played last year, is now yeah. – Oh yeah, pulled you back, pulled you back in. All right, uh, last two here. Favorite TV show, ESPN. Yeah, that's. I'm a big sports guy. I don't watch a lot of TV. When I do, I'm I'm catching up on ESPN. Okay, so Sports Center from back in the day is what you're saying. Go for sure. Okay, yeah. so then uh, favorite sports announcer, Chris Berman, uh, Gary. <laughs> Is, is that uh, changed? You've taken over. You've taken over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Boom. Sorry, Boom. I love you. You know what? <clears throat> it's this. The name of this sh show you're on is not the Chris Berman show, right, Gary? Correct. 
correct. Okay. And there is switched over. I've switched over. And there is an I in Rich and Eisen. So <laughs> I, I appreciate you saying that. I love that. it. I appreciate you saying that. Hey, uh, Gary, thanks for the call. Really appreciate it. it was You're awesome, great, brother. Right back at you. My gosh. And I, I look forward to having you back on and, and, and so much more. It really was wonderful watching what you did and how you did it. And then that great moment with your family. And congrats on the, the twin girls coming. You're the man. I'll talk to you soon, brother. You too. That's Gary Woodland, U.S. Open champion. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.